I always write to music, and as I was writing Euphoria, I kept hearing Danny Elfman meets Jesus meets gospel, which sounds really weird. Labyrinth is like the first person who's like, yeah. I felt like I knew exactly what he wanted to go for. The wonderful thing about Lab is he works from just pure inspiration. Most school writers, they have a very traditional way of writing. They've gone to school, so they use a certain sound. And for me, I feel like Euphoria told me what to do. Whatever makes me feel excited, I'm going to find a way of injecting it into the music. Feel the morning on my face. For me, with every scene, it was just like, how can I elevate it, but do it in a modern but fresh way. The labyrinth would bring out certain hues in the show. I wanted to merge different genres, and a lot of my music has influences of classic 70s rock, but also has orchestral arrangements along with hip hop. I kind of have two styles, maybe my angel and my devil side. I'm a very spontaneous, creative. One day I want to make a house record. The next day I want to make a classical record. The next day I want to make an electronic record. I'm not a precious person. When I write music, I'm like, let's all get involved together. Every collaboration helps develop my music. There's nothing we love more than to just sit there and cut Lab's music and just play around with it. We'll play it backwards, we'll strip it up and just try different things. So it becomes this, uh, this good sort of, you know, back and forth. It's a very, very unique relationship with a composer that's, uh, I don't know, led to, I think, a very one-of-a-kind texture. Whatever the score needed, I would adjust my style. Euphoria gave me the freedom to be whatever artist I want to be. There's this kind of hopefulness to his music that feels triumphant and serves as kind of a north star for the series itself. Labyrinth's score was just better than I could ever dream of. <laughs> 